The atmosphere in the saloon was tense with the potential for violence. All the men around the baize-covered poker table sat stiffly, waiting for the next turn of the cards and the trouble it might bring. Except for one young man. He sat back easily in his chair, a smile on his face as he regarded the cards in front of him. He had two jacks and a nine showing. He picked up some greenbacks from the pile next to him and tossed them into the center of the table with the rest of the pot. I'll see that twenty and raise fifty. Most of the other players had already dropped out as the pot grew. The bet made them look even grimmer. The player to the young man's left muttered, Forget it, and shoved his chair away from the table. He stood up and headed for the bar. The game had drawn quite a bit of attention. Men who had been drinking at the bar or at the other tables drifted over to see how the hand was going to play out. The young man said, Looks like it's down to you and me, Harrington. That's Mayor Harrington to you, said his sole remaining opponent. Sorry, didn't mean any disrespect, Mr. Mayor. The young man's slightly mocking tone made it clear to everyone around the table and those standing and watching that disrespect was exactly what he meant. One patron who seemed to be paying no attention at all stood at the bar with the beer he'd been nursing. He was a man of medium height, dressed in range clothes, with sandy hair under his thumbed-back Stetson. At first glance, not much was remarkable about him, except the span of his broad shoulders. He took another sip of his beer and kept his back to what was going on in the rest of the room. Harrington's pile of winnings was considerably smaller than that of the young man. He hesitated, then picked up some bills and added them to the pot. There's your damn fifty. He was a dark-haired, well-dressed man of middle years, sporting a narrow mustache. Deal the cards, Blake. The nervous-looking dealer, who happened to be the owner of the saloon, swallowed, cleared his throat, and dealt a card face up to the young man. That's a three, he announced unnecessarily, since everybody could see what the card was. Still a pair of jacks showing. With expert skill, he flipped the next card in the deck to Harrington. A seven. No help to the mayor, who still has a pair of queens. We can all see that blasted, Harrington snapped. Who the hell bids up the pot like that in a lousy pair of jacks? It's not good enough to beat me, and you know it. I thought we'd already been introduced, the young man said as his smile widened into a cocky grin. The name's Chance, 